Hey guys, and welcome to Archives New Zealand. My name's Dave, and welcome to our digital copying centre that we've got here. Uh, we just thought that maybe, seeing as you're going to be digitising some of your own archives, that perhaps we should give you a few basic tips on what you guys need to do for when you do your own scanning and photography. So there are three things that we need to remember. Uh, the first of which is look after your files, okay? As you handle them, don't sit there waving them around, trying to throw them here, there, and everywhere. Just treat them nice and gently. We often used to uh, use gloves, so we have the little white ones, or sometimes if people don't like these, we have these little blue nitrile ones as well. If you don't have access to something like that, just make sure your hands are washed really clean and then dried before you start handling your archives. Uh, the second one is how you actually image the archives themselves, uh, and that's quite a big one really. We tend to prefer that you'd use a scanner if you can, because the light's nice and even over the document and you get a nice even image. As high a resolution as you can get away with, you can always turn it down later. No point taking small images and then trying to make them bigger again later on. If you don't have access to a scanner, or your schools don't, um, try doing a bit of photography. Now, you don't need big scary cameras like this in order to take photos and digitize your archives. The little baby ones work as well, although I'm not sure taking photos with your phone is really going to quite cut the mustard. Um, when you do do your digitizing and you're taking photographs, unlike on your scanner where your light's not nice and even, just pay attention to how you light it. Nice and even lighting, if it's bright sunlight you're using a window, maybe draw the blinds down a little bit just to soften it off. And if you're not sure, use a tripod, it'll help heaps. And then the last thing that we need you to remember is something called metadata, which sounds really, really boring, but isn't. It's actually really important. And that's more to do with how you name your files so you can find them later, and also how you tag them. So when you're sticking them up on the website or you're reusing them later, describing them and tagging them is really important. Photos and the images don't mean much to people unless you can find them again later and realize what they're actually called. Okay? Hopefully that gives you a few tips. Give us a yell if you need anything else, and we look forward to seeing your results. Bye.